Hi, I'm Grim, and welcome back to Man vs Film. Change of location today, I'm in front of my DVDs because it's just easier to film here. And I want to introduce to you another friend of mine from YouTube, and that is Miss Rachel Wagner. She is doing something that is completely different from almost, I'd say with most of the YouTubers that I watch, as in that she is extremely knowledgeable about animation and even more knowledgeable about Hallmark movies. It may be something that you've never experienced or you aren't sure if you want to experience it but I suggest checking out her podcasts or her channel which she's going to talk about in a minute and I'm sure her enthusiasm will make you at least want to check them out and that's one of the things about Rachel she is always there with a smile positive attitude some great insight about the movies she is talking about and it's one of the youtubers I regularly go to not to say that I always agree with her but most of the time I tend to and I'm always happy to bow down to her knowledge of animation which she does in this and of course, Rachel being Rachel, she bends the rules just ever so slightly by slipping in four recommendations uh, this time. So all the questions will be below that Rachel is about to answer in her own uh, terrific style. And there will be links to the channels that she recommends for this time, even though it's supposed to be three. But we'll let it off because, like I said, her attitude and demeanour is just infectious. And I hope you enjoy her checking out her channel as much as I have. Hi everybody, I'm Rachel from Rachel's Reviews and I'm so excited to be on Graham's channel. I'm so flattered that he thought uh, of me uh, amongst all of the channels that there are, that he thought to ask me to profile my, my channel and that he likes my channel. Really, really nice. My channel has evolved over the years since I first started. Uh, it used to be just unboxings and then I decided to talk about movies because I like movies and animation in particular is my favorite. Uh, but now it's kind of evolved to probably 80% podcasting and just 20% edited content. I still do some, I do like one or two unboxings a week just to keep that in there. So yeah, it's, uh, it's just changes and evolves and that's, that's been really fun to be a part of and I'm really proud of every last video I put out to be honest. And so anyway, so I'm going to answer uh, Graham's questions and, and see what he has to, what I have to say. My name is Rachel Wagner. I live in Utah and I am 37 years old. I'm single. And uh, so, yeah, I have a lot of time and I wanted something to do and wanted something to, to craft and work on and, and, uh, and have a creative outlet. And uh, that's what I get with YouTube. Plus my job is in social media marketing. And so I work at uh, trying to craft the Twitter and Pinterest and, and other accounts for uh, the company I work for. So everything I learned from my channel is, is and I work, try to work with content creators, is something that I can use in my career as well. And so it's a, it's a win-win kind of situation. Plus I have just made so many friends through uh, my channel, through the podcast particularly, I've been able to talk to people. And uh, that has just been the greatest thing. I've talked to people from all over the world on my little channel to think that people are interested, like Graham, who is, is a, a whole ocean and many, many miles away from me. It's, it's amazing. It's really cool. I've had podcasts with people from Israel, from, uh, I do, uh, every time there's a superhero movie, I do a podcast with my friend Trevor from How to Love Comics, and we talk uh, the superhero movie, and, uh, and he's in Australia. So it's just really, really, really cool. I also have um, the Hallmarkies channel, uh, which uh, I've been, it's just exploded uh, along with my friend Amber. Uh, we've just, it's been kind of exhausting, but it's been really great. And we review and talk about all the Hallmark movies, the rom-coms that are released in Christmas movies uh, and different things. And we've had so much fun and we've been able to talk to critics. We've been able to talk to actresses. It's just been great. Uh, it's, it's finally something that I've done that's really taken off, which is who would have ever thought Hallmark? Uh, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> and also I, on my channel, I reviewed the entire Disney canon and I now with my friend Stanford, I do a monthly uh, podcast where we talk uh, animation or we talk Disney. And, uh, and then we're also been talking obscure animation. Uh, I do family movie night, uh, every week on my channel. Every Sunday I have a review uh, of a family appropriate movie. So it's just lots going on. It's kind of crazy, <laughs> but it's good. I mean, I, my life would be so boring right now uh, without all of this, so it's great. 
And really it's just to make friends, to talk about things and to learn skills for my job, have a creative outlet, um, all of those things for sure. I mean, I would love to do it full time. Of course, everybody would, but, uh, uh, but I, I'm still learning things that are helping me in my career. And uh, so it's great. So the best thing about YouTube, like I said, is connecting with all these people from all around the world. That is so cool. And uh, we, I've had so much fun talking Disney, talking uh, these family movies, uh, various podcasts and all different kinds of things. I, I got introduced to, I watched all the Star Trek movies with my friend Tom. That was really fun. I did Star Wars with my uh, friends, Abby and Jeremy. And, and then Richard, who's also from England, uh, we, did, um, we did all the Harry Potter movies. That was a little bit uh, not as fun as I was expecting, uh, but uh, it was fun to, that was, it was really fun to be with them. It wasn't quite as much fun as I was expecting uh, reviewing those movies. I don't know, they didn't hold up as well as I thought they would, but it was still fun to be with them. Uh, and uh, I, like I've worked with Stanford, I've worked with so many great people, uh, obviously Amber over Homemakes Pod, and we met so many cool people in the Hallmark world. Like so we've interviewed, I got to interview, Alonzo Duralde and William Bibiani, which was super exciting for me. And uh, I don't know, it's just, it just connects you with all these cool people and you get a creative outlet. Like I love when I make like a thumbnail that I'm really proud of. And uh, when, I, uh, when I feel like I've done a good job explaining myself, when I feel like I have a good video, it feels good. It feels good if I have a good podcast. Uh, and I'm a little bit obsessive about listening to my podcasts and trying to make them better. And uh, so, yeah. <laughs> my favorite movie is the movie Up from Pixar. It makes me think of my grandpa. My grandpa was really, really special in my life. And it's funny because my grandpa wasn't like gruff like Carl is in the movie. He was sweet and lovable and wonderful. And, uh, but there's just something about that movie and like him and the whole message of the movie to uh, the way that he keeps Ellie alive and the way he talks to her and the way that uh, he comes to realize that she really did love him all along. And he sees that note to her at the end. And he realizes that he was forgiven for not giving her all the adventure that he wanted to, that he loved, that she really did love him a hundred percent. I think it's so moving. I think it's so lovely. And I just love the movie. <laughs> so it's my favorite movie. I would say be consistent, be consistent, be consistent. Uh, that's a real key. <laughs> People want to know that you have, every, you know, every Saturday, every Sunday, whatever, like whatever you decide to do, be consistent. And, uh, and also like, yes, it's important to put out as good a work as you possibly can, but also like, if you wait until your work is perfect, you'll probably never put out anything. And so like, if I look at my old videos, I'm like, Mm, there's literally just me like standing in front of a laptop, like opening and stuff. And that's what I knew how to do at the time. And that was, and some people delete those old videos. I don't cause they're all part of my growth. And I'm sure I'll look at the videos I'm doing now and be like, Ugh, yuck, why, why did I do that? But it's all part of the learning process and uh, you don't, you don't ever grow. So yes, try to make them as good as you possibly can, but also uh, don't be afraid to just put out content, be consistent. That's what I would say. And be yourself. This is really hard. I love all of my videos. I, I really do have a soft spot in my heart. I'm not the most objective person when it comes to my own content. I admit it. Um, but I was really proud over on Homeworkies channel of a video I did of our a year in, year in review, some of the best moments. It just made me really proud to like look back and realize all the things that we had experienced together as friends and all the great moments that we'd had. And that's definitely one of my favorite ones I've ever done. I also really loved, uh, I, every year I do a compilation video uh, on my obscure animation where I put it to music and, and just have, those are really creative and I really enjoy, enjoy them. Um, uh, so it's like a best of, or not best of, it's just like this year in obscure animation. Love those two, those videos. Um, I, I was really proud of every single one of my Disney Canon reviews. I, I was very consistent 
every Wednesday, even if I was sick and they were a ton of work, uh, but I'm really proud of every last one of them and I love them. <laughs> so uh, that that's definitely some, there's a lot that I really love. <laughs> and I, I'm really proud of my family movie night reviews. Uh, so I don't know, like I said, not the most subjective when it comes to my own content. <laughs> So I definitely, I will recommend Brian Lomax. Uh, he recommended me uh, and that was so sweet and so kind. And, but he, he and I do disagree on almost every movie, but I like it. I like the fact that we can disagree without being disagreeable and that we can, uh, we can support each other and, and have such different opinions. I think that's really cool. And also I recommend Jonathan uh, North's channel. I think he deserves a lot more subscribers he puts out good content i've done the doctor who videos with him but also he does wonderland wednesdays where he reviews a different alice in wonderland each week and they're really really good i like his channel a lot and i would also recommend durbania i think that his i love his theological analysis that he does where he takes like any movie and he can find a uh, spiritual teaching and counsel from like just anything it's really impressive and uh and it's kind of cool it's it's made me look at things sometimes in a new way and it's made me sort of try to find the deeper meaning and even really silly like comedies and stuff like he has never failed to be able to find some really interesting theological analysis from from a movie it's it's good <laughs> so uh check out his his channel he does he does a good trailer reactions too he's just and he's a great guy so i would definitely recommend his channel also elsie screen talk uh, he's, Larry is just so good. He's like, he never misses a movie. Amazing. And he, he is just such a nice guy, deserves more subscribers. So check out LC screen doc too. So those, I guess that's four, but those are really good ones. And I love film because I, uh, it's a way of walking in other people's shoes and walking in worlds and experiencing different, uh, different stories in a very short amount of time. I think that, um, I mean, I love to read, but reading is like really living with characters for weeks, you know, depending on the length of the book. And that's great. And that has a, a, a real appeal to me. And I love the written word and, and, uh, it's, it's, it's got a magical, its own poetry and, and things like that. But, uh, in television, you really are living with characters for years. You know, these characters will be in your life. But uh, movies, I think it's a special thing that it's, you know, two hours, you're in, you're out, the story's done, you've gotten the whole thing. And that's what I kind of like about film as opposed to some of these other mediums is it's just you get a whole story and you get to, because there's certain stories that I don't want to live with them. <laughs> you know, I don't want to uh, be with them for days and days and days as I'm reading. That's too much, but I don't mind spending two hours with them and I'm, my life is better because of it. And also like film has so many ways to like think about it and analyze it whether you're talking about music or tone or acting or writing or so many things that it's really really good really interesting to me oh this is an interesting question who would it be um huh hmm you could hang out I don't know. Who would I hang out with? I know who I'd hang out with. And it's like a real person, so maybe it's a lame answer. But I would hang out with Julia Child from <laughs> Julia and Julia. She seems like Julia Child seems like she would be the most amazing person. And so like she was just somebody who just like embraced life and uh you know it wasn't afraid to like start a whole new life in later later in life. And uh, she, she'd moved to a city and would immediately try, not only find out about all the local food, but she would start learning the language. And I, I don't just her love for, for life and food and, and uh, for her husband. She just seems like the best person ever. <laughs> so I guess, but if you're, not, if you're talking about not a lot living to person, I don't know, maybe I'd go hang out with Yoda, get some, uh, get some uh, counsel and advice and uh from yoda and working my four skills and he just seems like he'd be pretty cool to hang out with so maybe i say say yoda <laughs> people should subscribe to me if they 
uh, have a family and they want family movie recommendations every week. Uh, if they like podcasts, I do a lot of podcasts. And uh, if they uh, if they like uh, animation, those are my big things. I talk about a review every single animated film that comes out uh, in in theaters. So uh, you know, I you big or small. Some of them I review on my blog, but uh, one way or another, I review all the animated films and. So I think that you really enjoy uh, my content and uh, I, I just try my best to make it interesting. And um, so yeah, check it out and check out Hallmarkies Pod. If you like romantic comedies and you like Hallmark movies, then you'll like that channel as well. So uh, yeah, thanks so much for letting me uh, come on your channel, Graham, and talk about, <laughs> talk about my, uh, my channel and the things I do. And I, I really, really appreciate it. And uh, thanks again, and uh, we will uh, talk to you all later. Bye. So there we have it, Miss Rachel Wagner. I hope you check out her channel, check out her whole Marquis podcast ch channel, uh, and just delve into this other world of YouTube movies or YouTube reviewers of movies that aren't generally given the limelight that they deserve to be. I think she's fantastic, highly recommended from myself, something I do watch, and I'd love you to jump along there, subscribe, let her know that you like her style. You like her reviews and you think she's doing some great work. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.